Order, order. Now I would like to, would like to start the grand final of Reva Debate Festival 2020. Here, here. <laughs> On government, we have Keitaro and Erin. Here, here. <laughs> On opposition, we have Side Garden. Here, here. <laughs> the judges are everybody in this room. <laughs> So the motion before the House today is this House believes that marriage should be abolished. Now I'd like to call upon the Prime Minister. Please deliver the speech within seven minutes. Yeah, here. Thank you. Institution, and it causes more harms than benefits. Um, and under a, as the government side, we are very happy to uh, move towards abolishing. We believe that marriage should be abolished. We believe that benefits, for example, for couples who have children, should go to couples that have children to benefit the children. Birth certificates. The mother and the father, the biological mother and father, should be on the birth certificate. Inheritance, issues such as inheritance, should be determined by the individual. For example, um, I have a friend who lives with, he's not gay, he lives with his male friend. He's a foreigner, he wants everything to be left to the person that he lives with. Under the present situation, he does not have this option. People should be able to determine who they want their inheritance to go to. So uh, we have two points to show why we believe that abolishing marriage will be better society. First point is that marriage is inherently exclusive. And the second point is that opting out of marriage causes a lot of more harm than good. Okay, so my first point, why marriage is inherently exclusive. So there's several points on this issue, but uh, my three main points here. Marriage is sexist. It's inherently homophobic, and it's classist. First, marriage is sexist in that we, we assume that women are supposed to be given away as if they are sort of a family possession. Um, in some cases in Japan, you have the muko system where you actually give away the uh, male, but that person is seen as lesser when he becomes muko or something like that. So either way, the, there's sort of an inherent power balance that comes in. Um, women stereotypically have to take their husband's last names. They have to obey their husband. This is clearly outdated in terms of gender equality, and it is hindering uh, the advancement of gender equality in society. Second point, marriage is homophobic. Most of the world does not approve of same-sex marriages. And why is this? In some countries cite religious religions, other countries like Japan cite religions, reasons such as, oh, it's not productive. As if the sole purpose of a couple being together is based on producing children. Well, in that case, for same-sex marriage, it's basically telling people that are uh, LG, uh, lesbian, gay, bi, transgender, that. The, their way, the love that they choose, the, is not acceptable in society and doesn't have a productive role in society. Now, we think that this is, by, if we were to abolish marriage, this would gradually go away. And the last point is that marriage is very classist. Weddings cost a lot of money. I had to quit my job to get married. I had used all of my savings, and it was a lot of money. And I still tell my husband he owes me for that, because it's ridiculous. <laughs> People go into debt. You don't, if you don't have savings, if you don't have a stable job, you think that you can't get married, then you can't have children. In Japan's current situation, in other countries' current situation, you have this downward spiral of just people just, well, I can't afford marriage, I can't afford children, uh, therefore I, we don't produce, we don't, we don't reproduce, even though maybe we want children. Maybe we want, because we can't afford the actual union, we can't afford to be considered 
a married couple. So basically we're saying that you have to be able to earn enough money in order to be married. And that's, if we were to move towards abolishing, we'd have more equitable unions between people. People would be allowed to determine, okay, so we want to stay together for this amount of time. We want to have children. We don't want to have children. We want to live together. We don't want to live together. They would have very different, they would be able to choose the union that fits their lifestyle best. Our second point is that marriage is so difficult and costly to opt out of. There's a social stigma surrounded by divorce. I could stay married, I could get divorced, I really don't care at this point, but when I think about the cost of divorce and the social stigma that results in divorce, I, I, I really, it's so much extra cost that it, to the children and things like that. There are custody battles. We, leave, we label it as sort of a failed marriage, when really it's just two people moving on. Like with the, the nature, biologically, human beings are not attracted to each other forever. There's not, we don't have this, like, there's, what is eternal love? You know, does this exist? And <laughs> basically, we see divorce rates rising. We see in Japan people living longer and longer. Women getting tired of their husbands. <laughs> they want to graduate. There's a new marriage term called social kon, like I'm going to graduate from marriage to avoid this social stigma of the broken family. Well, if we don't, if we abolish marriage, we also abolish divorce. And therefore, we reduce the stigma that exists. With this, we reduce the custody can be decided, you know, granted to the mother, granted to the father. It could be decided between two people. In Japan, it's always awarded to the mother. And I have a colleague who's suffering from this system right now, being divorced. And it's quite, the divorce causes as just about as much stress as being excluded from marriage. And therefore, we think that if we were to move towards a society in which marriage was to be abolished or we would, we would not have the institute of marriage, we would have people able to engage in more free, more natural unions, unions that actually fit their lifestyle. We have more gender equitable society, a more inclusive society, a society that's better for the parents, better for children, better for families. We are so very happy to propose. I thank the Prime Minister for the Now I'd like to welcome the leader of the opposition. Please deliver the speech within seven minutes. Here, here. Thirdly, 
uh, okay, long-term relationship give benefit and happiness to the couple. And also, even though those who are not really happy about the marriage, but the, in, in the between, there are some area, gray area people, are really, um, it's lazy to get married because we have to process all <coughs> the things, you know, to tell the uh, people around and to go to the office and so on. So that the kind of system will protect those people's short-term decision making. So that is good. Okay, so before that, let me uh, revert to the previous speaker. So it's so strange because Elisa is happily married as a woman, right? Because I put the information on you. <laughs> 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 Japanese marriage system is outdated. Okay, but before getting married, we all have a con consent, right, between the husband and wife. So if you don't like uh, this husband, this man, is relating to the very inaga kind of uh, lifestyle, then you can <coughs> talk to him or her, okay? I don't want to uh, <coughs> do according to your system, or maybe you can, if you can compromise yourself, you can uh, go to their family. It's up to you, right? So it doesn't make sense. And secondly, wedding costs a lot, okay? You don't want to, if you don't want to, you just go to the French restaurant and have a, only one ichimayan for each person's yeah, attendance. So nothing to worry about. Okay, so, and, uh, okay, opt out from the, this uh, marriage system, it's a stigma. Okay, so, but I'm saying that uh, it's a kind of custody battle is happening. So you need some kind of energy and money to go into these custody battles or stigma. So I'm saying not, I'm not saying 100% should not get divorced, but some group of people may divorce, but uh, because of this, thanks to this system, this gray area people will be well protected because of the law. So as I said in the introduction, people are really lazy to go into the office and do this and do that and to talk to the, and negotiate with your husband or, you know, and, and maybe the time passes my, from my experience, right? Okay, my, okay, I once had uh, wanted to get divorced with my husband when I was young, but when the time passes, like age uh, 25, uh, sorry, 30, I wanted to get married, but maybe 30, at the age of 35, okay, he's a good man. Okay, there's no other good man, then why not to stay with him? So the people's feeling will go up and down and up and down. And everybody agree with me, uh, those uh, all married people in here, in this uh, room, right? Okay, so, uh, go ahead. Doesn't that show how difficult marriage is to actually opt out of? Because you said, you just said that at one point you wanted to divorce your husband, but then you decided not to. Isn't it that because... Yeah, like because the, the of course, emotion is not always the same. It's uh, someday you want to feel this way, and the other day you don't feel like that. So it's very not always stable on this person, right? So, and uh, of course, especially when you're very, very young, you're maybe you cannot, uh, you know, foresee the future. So you may uh, dis make a decision in a very, very short time. Okay, so... Uh, attracted, so, okay. And uh, they say to attracted to each other people, okay, maybe attracted to each other people, but can you believe uh, going to hope uh, one, uh, another one and another one and another one? What kind of chaotic life you would have, right? <laughs> Especially when you have uh, uh, children. Uh, children, what do the children think about you or what you're doing? So, how do you say? Maybe. It's, it's not a good way to you know, change your partner like that. Okay, maybe some people would do that, but I'm not denying for, for everybody, I'm saying that. Okay, so I think for the argument coming from the uh, government side is not really uh, agreeable in the percent. Okay, first I'd like to talk about what is marriage. So marriage is the smallest unit of family to, to people to connect. So once uh, maybe one man and woman, or if it's uh, LGBT people, men and men, same gender people, may uh, see, uh, meet each other somewhere, workplace or some school or something some, some, somewhere like that. Then to 
and maybe they want to love each other, and they find this person is uh, you know, the, the most much, the person who loves the most and uh, very uh, much to your personality or so on, then they will have, they get married and then to have a children, right? So sometimes they adopt some children. So the whole members of family will connect to other society and this, this uh, individual, this uh, family unit will uh, become bigger. But, uh, okay, what about the uh, difference between being just girlfriend and boyfriend or just, you know, live together such as France people? Okay, so if you take a look at the a place like France, they can live together and they're just like a, a marriage system, but they can easily split it. Why? Because they may have a love affair outside the house because it's not protected by law. So the law is important. The law only makes a stable relationship and marriage couple of whom... Oh my God. Sorry, I, didn't, I couldn't finish until the last, but... That's why we back to, I think, uh, marriage is much better than uh, being single. That's why we back to. <laughs> Please deliver the speech within seven minutes. Here, here. So, ladies and gentlemen. We believe that under the status quo, so the pregnancy divorce rate has been increasing in Japan in the first place, like America. So especially the older the couples become, the, uh, the more likely they to divorce. So this evidence clearly shows that the marriage system is just a stereotype system, and marriage system is just outdated, and um, the marriage system causes more harm than good. That's why we propose this motion. In my speech, I'd like to talk about two things. Firstly, how marriage system undermines and exacerbates the exclusion of the society. I'll expand my partner's argument and more in details and mechanism more deeply. And secondly, I will explain why the abolishment of marriage system is justifiable. But before moving on that, a couple of the debaters are coming from the opposition side page. They talked about the marriage system, the couples are stable because of the law, but such kind of laws just bind the too much the couples in the first place. There's no responses coming from the, my partner's argument. But first of all, and moreover, they talked about the marriage system, the many people are happy or not, say, the, uh, some kind of the characters in my uh, this audience. But that's why we should take this motion, right? If abolishment of the marriage, Katayama-san didn't say such kind of the system uh, to the variables or something like that, right? So, so they clearly, their speech, uh, her speech is clearly shows that marriage system is just uh, stigmatized and it's very outdated. Moreover, katayama san said that uh, some kind of divorce or something like that, but without the marriage system, katayama san divorced happily and did not confused <laughs> about what, whether to divorce or not, right? Maybe she didn't have a hard time because she didn't spend the uh, chaotic situation. So moreover, they talked about marriage system is a unit that connecting the family. But first of all, having a, uh, having a uh, relating, uh, having a child or something like that. But first of all, having children is not related to the marriage in the first place. Many types of the family style, there are many types of styles under the status quo. There's no difference uh, between the common law and marriage system. And in 2013 in France, and 55% are not married, but have a child, right? In most Scandinavian countries, there's no relation between the ch children and having a, a, the, a, a, under the marriage. So in America, 50% divorce rate, but the number of children has been growing up. So that's why the children's argument is just nonsense. So I will clearly debate it about the opposition side set. Let me move on to the first point about the how marriage system undermines exclusion of the society for four reasons, right? Firstly, and um, Mr. Speaker, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Chairperson, marriage system is clearly the exception of the people in our society. It's very happening and uh, uh, related to the marriage, right? For example, uh, people who are not the granted the ability to marry are not seen as the worthy of the 
the building, the blocks, the of the society, right? They are not seen the, as a proper family foundation for the society to build upon, right? Therefore, marriage in itself is being used as a tool to keep people out, to keep family situations out in the society. Moreover, Mr. Speaker, Madam Speaker, the case of the gay marriage, polygamy, and incest, also it's changing to some extent, is um, still in our society. Even if we go to accept them and keep um, liberating the concept of the marriage to the most liberal extent, it's still not going to take away the concept of exclusion per se, right? So it's just shifting that the line of the exclusion. Therefore, we believe that the uh, marriage system has been used as a tool for the exclusion. That's very clear how. Secondly, and second analysis that the uh, marriage system, by like, introducing a marriage system, each and every person has the different values and each and every person has a different views, especially on the marriage as well, right? For example, in Japan, uh, where if you are a woman over the age of the 30 and you are still unmarried, there is still a big social stigma existing on the you. People expect you to get married, they are seen as a leftover, right? And also, right? This is, the concept is clearly born by the marriage system. Even if we may have the gradually had an empowerment to get a job, but this conservative idea is not likely to disappear, right? Because of the marriage system is still type system. More, and thirdly, and the marriage system is, no thank you, and clearly harm to not only for the husband and the wife, but also for the future children. Because uh, especially who are going to have to depend on these parents and the family party, right? So people are pushed into making that choice even when they actually are undecided on whether they actually would like to marry that person or not. That's why very clear. Yes. Okay. If you accept all the form of the people's you know, being, then why the marriage is one of those, don't you think? Ah, uh, I said as I, I as I said, they, they, you didn't understand what uh, our paradigm is. Mm -hmm. Marriage system is clearly bind and clearly separate, clearly show the separation and exclusion, mm -hmm. right? That's a clear harm coming from the government marriage system, mm -hmm. right? So, uh, fourthly, right? So, about the divorce. My partner clearly told you, but it's very difficult to opt out because the marriage clearly binds the couples to strictly, right? There are many, many people who want to divorce, but they cannot because of the marriage system, right? So, moreover, even if they can divorce, but they are stigmatized by the society um, after the divorce, right? Say, called Batsuichi or Batsuni. These kind of the words are clearly born by the marriage system, right? Especially the single mother uh, prejudiced the bias by a society. It's very clearly uh, divides the people, discriminate the people clearly by the marriage system, right? It's clearly hard. But after taking this part, this kind of the stigma will be solved because the number one, it's very easy to opt in. The singles will be treated equally. Uh, all the people will be treated equally. Especially the LGBT, LGBT person who have the illegitimated child will disappear. They feel the comfort of because there is no legal bind. That's very beneficial. So singles, even if they are singles, they feel the comfortable even if they cannot marry. They don't bother to be concerned about not to marry. For example, some people will get the power of self-actualization. Others will concentrate on the working. That's very clear benefit coming from the government's side bench. Moreover, secondly, it's very easy to opt out, right? So uh, because people cannot be binded strictly because of the marriage system's law, right? For example, single mothers and common law uh, married couples concern, uh, this kind of concern will disappear under our paradigm. Moreover, people are likely to have a child with relief, having a, a responsibility for the society. That's very, uh, 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 that's very benefit coming from the government side bench. So let me go to the second point about justification about this motion. First of all, Mr. Speaker, we believe that it's wrong for the government to say the concept of the idea, right? The best choice that you should have and the best form of the family you can have. Because when the state goes in to send a message, it also goes to send another message that is clear harm to the, uh, lead to the discrimination. For all of these reasons, and it's not justifiable, for all of these reasons, we are proud to propose. Of opposition, please deliver the speech within seven minutes. You're here. Okay, good afternoon, everybody. Um, they say um, individual equality is important, but we say a couple is very important, and a couple is a very essential unit in our society, and to 
uh, protect those couple, uh, marriage system is uh, essential. And uh, marriage is a fundamental basic unit in our society, and the government should encourage uh, support them legally. And to support legally is the most important. That's the marriage system. And I'd like to talk about marriage is necessary in our society in terms of the importance of marriage itself and uh, importance of legalization. But before talking my point, let me rebut what the government side said. Uh, they say uh, divorce will become stigma, but that, that's not true anymore. Um, there are so many people who uh, married, divorce, married, divorce, and uh, are not <laughs> stigma anymore. And also, uh, not to, to marriage is stigma, but that's not also true, because uh, in our society, uh, more and more uh, people are getting single, and marriage is not uh, stigma anymore. And uh, <coughs> so, also, uh, they say uh, it's, uh, uh, marriage is exclusive, inherently exclusive, exclusive, and it's, uh, in power, it, it will cause power balance and outdated. But we say, uh, to say marriage is outdated is outdated. <laughs> <laughs> marriage is changing. My son has a baby recently, and the relationship between my son and her wife is completely equal. Uh, my son gives milk, my son takes care of the, his baby, and she, uh, he did anything. So uh, the uh, uh, marriage is changing. Also, uh, about the same-sex marriage, um, the uh, trend is changing. If we debate about the same-sex marriage, uh, always uh, to deny same-sex marriage will be lost. So, in the near future, uh, same-sex marriage will be allowed. And also, they say co it will cost a lot, but it's not true, because uh, without uh, a ceremony, you can uh, get married. Just go to uh, Kuyakusho and just legislation. It doesn't cost any more. Uh, my point wasn't that uh, in the, about the ceremony. It was also about needing to have a stable job, needing to have uh, savings in order to get married. What do you think about that? Yeah, but uh, uh, without the cost, uh, this kind of thing is achieved these days. So now let me talk about my point. Ma marriage is necessary in our society. Two analysis. Number one, uh, marriage is very important. So uh, before talk, uh, important, so what's the marriage? Marriage makes couple feel responsi responsible, respon uh, feel responsibility and duty. And also marriage uh, builds blood relationship and strengthens the bond of the family. Also marriage gives couple uh, so, uh, sexual control, and uh, marriage also lays the children, uh, children. So uh, marriage is itself has a very important role in our society. And uh, it will also connect the family to local community and society. Then, uh, why uh, to legalize, to, uh, to protect those couple with law is important. We say, a couple is very important in our society. Why? Because a couple will take care of children, take care of the health of your partner, also engaged in education of their children. So that means instead of the government, family take responsibility of those things. So uh, marriage can take the role of the government and uh, the couple will play a role of what the government has to do if marriage system is abolished. A uh, couple will take responsibility <coughs> instead of the government. So, um, for example, uh, uh, I, if my partner gets sick, I will take care of my uh, partner. I uh, brought up my children. My um, parents become sick, I will also take care of my parents. Those things, a lot of those things will be done uh, by couples. So 
uh, we, um, so the, therefore, uh, government should protect the couple with law. So uh, what kind of merit uh, will be brought with law? Tax benefit, uh, they can get uh, ta tax benefit, uh, uh, couple, uh, married couple get a uh, lot of tax benefit. For example, a uh, reduction of your partner, uh, also inheritance tax will be reduced, also pension system will be uh, uh, helped. And even if you divorce, um, partner can get uh, some uh, pension. So there are a lot of benefits uh, in terms of uh, tax. So, uh, so we say law uh, guarantee the position of your partner and all, therefore uh, stabilize, make your family stabilize and uh, not only stabilize your family, sta stabilize your society. And uh, we, those things, without those um, system, uh, those things cannot be uh, protected. So, uh, marriage system institution is very important to uh, protect couple. So, now let me compare their paradigm and our paradigm. They say uh, it will be um, exclusive and the same marriage, uh, don't um, admit same marriage and it will cost and uh, give a stigma divorce or um, marriage. Uh, but we say uh, it's really important to uh, protect family legally and because of legalization, couple will be protected and our society will be um, stable. Therefore, I'm very happy to oppose this motion. Thank you. To welcome the leader of the opposition reply, please save the speech within four minutes here. here.
kind of negative feeling of marriage. The image of the marriage itself has changed. So what we are talking here is the new style of marriage. So what we are saying here is we are protected by law, so we have a lot of benefit, right? Because the government itself is uh, want to uh, encourage the older people to get married, therefore they can have uh, children. So you know, without maybe getting married, they can also have a children, but they have some trouble between the uh, human, right? So not to make this kind of things trouble happens, the government is, um, you know, uh, asking all the young people to get married. Therefore, they can have children. They can have more stable life. They can have a long perspective in life, you know, and also, you know, financially they can maybe better than staying for life single. Uh, maybe when you are very sick, you can, you know, your partner can help you or so on. So it's a better being two than one. So that, that is what we are saying here. Okay, so they talked about, or oh, they are uh, talking, they are, uh, actually their point of this debate is on the exclusion, right? So the exclusion may not happen after taking proposal, I mean, after taking proposal, and we think, we still believe in the a beautiful marriage, because, and including same-sex marriage, of course. And uh, we have support, uh, we've been supported by legally. It's very important. Why? It's because people can have a responsibility, and uh, the, the government can look after us, uh, and uh, we, we don't have any uh, strange things uh, uh, ha happens, um, and also the, you know, like uh, young and uh, young people can have experience. If if they uh, young people get married <coughs> and if even have a fight, they have a very short perspective and they get uh, divorced. But you know, if you have uh, some law uh, binding, then they can think over and over again. And also the uh, maybe the, the okay. So okay. that's why we take up this motion. as a necessary institution in society, that marriage itself is inherently stable. But as we've shown you, with the divorce rates rising, with people trying to opt out of marriage in other ways, other than divorce. For example, we gave the example of Sotsukon. And um, those things, we see people as they're getting older, they're getting tired of being married to the other person. Uh, they said that instead of the government, these two people can take care of each other. Is this really true? In Japan today, we see a lot of older married couples actually getting tired of each other, actually neglecting each other, and in the worst case scenario, actually killing each other. We've seen sort of those situations, like as, in terms of like kaigo satsujin and things like that. I don't think that marriage is really working as a very stable institution in today's society. Okay, and they've also said that marriage, the marriage system is changing. There's this beautiful system of marriage, but who has fought to change this? It's the women, it's the people that have been necessarily excluded from this institution. And every single time there's a new thing that comes up, we have to, yes, we have to fight to make sure the man, like, we have to fight. When I was 25, 26, it was considered, I was, you know, like, I, I have social pressure now to make a marriage look happy on social media, when it may necessarily, it may or not be, may or not be, I refuse to close that information. <laughs> However, we fought for these things. We fought for marriage to be more inclusive. We, LGBT people are having to fight for their own same-sex marriages. They're having to fight, and they're not getting those realizations. We think that just abolishing marriage would make it more easy for people, and it would just make the more unions common. My partner told you about, uh, in countries such as France, and Scandinavian countries, 
how we actually see families become more stable when the idea of marriage becomes more liberal. And we think that social stability does not come from the institution of marriage. The social stability comes from the agreement between the two people together. And by abolishing this institution, we have an easier way that two people can legally come together and say, well, we're going to do this. We're going to have these benefits for the child. People can decide how they want their inheritance to go. There's not going to be as much stigma. There's not going to be as much fighting. There's not going to be as much sense of failure or success. Like if I'm married, I'm successful. If I'm divorced, I'm not. It doesn't matter. It should be the individual determining their own happiness. And so in terms of stability, we believe that the government side has told you that marriage creates a, uh, not having marriage creates a more stable society. Also in terms of equality, we've shown you how people who have lesser economic agency, people who have non-traditional types of relationships, not just same sex, but for example, people who are bisexual, who may prefer to have a union, you know, people that are, you know, like who made to have multiple partners. What are those people? Where is their, where is their option? We think that just simply abolishing the institution will make a more equal society. Therefore, we are very, very happy to follow those. Things. Thank you. Thank you, Prime Minister, for the remarks. Now, all speeches.